Hey Val, this is uh, making red lentils with Val, for Val. Let's call it with Val, I just get a little splash of oil in there. Basically, you could rather call this a lentil stew. And um, I showed a picture here. Maybe I'll just turn this over quickly and show you the ingredients that I've got down here. So I've got a cup of red lentils, I've got a can of tomatoes. You want them kind of crushed, so I'm gonna smash them up in the blender a bit. And then you got some onions. And I like to have a spice, Burberry. You could put in maybe, uh, you could put in just some chili peppers or chili powder or whatever you want. Just spice it up just a little bit. But we're gonna call this red lentil stew, okay? They like to make this in Ethiopia, so that's why I like it. So let's get the onions going. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna toss the onions. This is probably a little bit hot. Turn it down just a little bit now that we have a nice and hot. And I'm doing about, you know, whatever you like. I'm doing a cup of lentils, so I'm just putting in about that much onions. You saw it on the thing. I just take, I usually have an onion I'm working with in the fridge. And I take a little piece off of it. This might be the equivalent of a very small onion. But as they're going to be somewhat absorbed in there. In fact, the way I'm going to... A little hot. I'm going to keep it off the stove just a bit. The way I'm going to smash this up a little bit is uh, using the immersion blender. This will be a great tool to smash up those tomatoes so they're not too chunky. And uh, I want to get these translucent and browning a little bit. It's too hot. Too hot. But that's okay. That's Still got lots of flavor. And that's what matters. Flavor. It's the flavor, baby. Um, you can mix this afterwards. You could stew. Forget the, you know, usually you got to get the onions going a bit. But you can add the red lentils. And you could... You can boil them up and then add some ingredients. I like to just kind of toss it all in there and let it cook up. Red lentils is what I'm using and they're soft and they, they get really mushy, very mushy. So in the end, this is gonna be almost very stew-like, pasty. Um, I like to throw the red lentils in my stew quite often or a few of them in there anyways, because what do we know about red lentils? We know that they are a great source of fiber they're super heart healthy. They got some protein in there. If you were a vegetarian, I think you'd want to lay into some lentils. And uh, very, very good. Naturally, it helps to lower blood pressure. I'm sure Doc could tell you all about that stuff. And um, yeah, so I'm just giving them a little softening. I don't care. I'm not too worried because I am going to use the immersion blender and these are going to soften up as we go. So I'm using some sunflower because it's got a pretty good boiling point and it's a little nicer than you're taking off those fields of yellow rapeseed oil or canola oil that you got growing out there in Alberta. And uh, as much as I love Alberta, I'm not buying their oil. I'm buying sunflower oil. And I don't know where that comes from. Saskatoon probably. All right. So, normally let it sit a bit, but that, again, I don't care. I don't think I need a full, this is a big can. I might have used a, a more of a, what, a 19 ounce can or something like that, or 14 or 19 ounce can. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm a big fan of just going for it and see what happens. Sometimes it works out. Now, this is going to sound terrible in the video, but... Let's just bring it up to heat just a little bit first. So I got, you know, cup and half. I want, I want a fair bit of liquid. You probably want like three or four cups. Now with, normally if you're just cooking up lentils, you can put extra water and just drain it off when you're done. But I think I kind of want to get the right amount in here. So. Yeah, you don't want big chunks of tomato, right? But I don't want it like over puree. I'm gonna call that one good. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Texture's pretty good. Still got a little bit of chunks in there, but nothing too big. What's that? Yeah, it's 
get that up to heat. Now I'm gonna bring the temperature right up. Wish I had a gas stove, because then it would be already hot. Okay, and uh, I guess there's nothing really stopping me from doing this. Now, I'm gonna put, I want about four cups of liquid for one cup, maybe just under four cups, three to one kind of ratio, um, no, four to one. So I'm gonna go in with a couple lentils. I personally just like to put my spice. This is Berberet, it's an Ethiopian spice. It gets pretty hot, that's probably too much, but you know what, we can live with it. Uh, maybe to save Lisa, I'll just do that much. She likes to take this to lunch at the school and then she won't be breathing fire on everybody. Okay, stir that around. And I think I'm gonna need probably another couple of cups of water. So I'm gonna just put the kettle on, get that hot water boiling. And then I can just watch, it takes about 15 minutes overall to cook this. Um, I'm gonna watch the pot and then that way I don't have to try to drain liquid off. I can just, as it starts thickening, I'll add a little bit more water, a little bit more water. That tomato start to bubble in there. I like to do it this way because I figure, rather than boil it first, you let it absorb the flavor as it's cooking. That's why I think it's better. And uh, I think absorbing water just so they get swollen and then sticking the stuff around it is not as good. Let the lentils soak this tomato, onion, berberry, spicy sauce. Uh, I don't think you need, you can do salt and pepper if you want, but it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Let's just add a little bit. Got this for Christmas. It's got Himalayan pink salts in there. And a whole bunch of peppercorns. I don't think that one's working because it's still full. But the gray and black pepper's going down. So it's kind of a mix. I suppose you're getting an automatic mix. Okay, so get that when it comes to a boil. Um, just let it come to a, a boil, stir it every once in a while. Keep an eye on it, bring it down to low, just kind of like you're cooking rice after it gets hot. So, okay, red lentils. So red lentils are Italian or uh, Mediterranean, often used by the Indians uh, to, and I mean Indians like India, the East Asians um, or Central Asians. I don't know what they're called in India. Often used um, in their curry dishes because it goes mushy and uh, so it blends in well, holds the flavor well. So I think. There, now let me just give that a shot of water, maybe about, I don't know, we'll see how that I guess if it got too liquidy, you could always just throw in a few more lentils and as long as you let it simmer long enough, they'll absorb more moisture. So, let's we'll see how this goes. Okay, I will break this down into a time-lapse photography. Um, or I could regale you with stories of lentils there was a guy named John once who had lentils, and uh, John was not a fan of the red ones, preferred the brown ones. And then there's some Latino guys in my church, <clears throat> and they like those Mexican lentils. I think some of those guys down there have black lentils too, and uh, some people like those. Uh, but the brown lentils, yeah, those uh, those are pretty good. They're a little heartier, you know? Probably the black lentils too, a little heartier. And the green lentils, oh, those are the favorite of the French, right? The French green lentils. I don't know why they like those ones, but they're kind of like the brown ones. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to find another fasting story. I feel like Noam. Noam on Cheers. You know, the interesting thing about uh, the red lentil is that uh, it got immigrated to Canada not by the Indians, but by uh, some Italians. I just made that up. I have no idea. Okay. You know, come to think of it, I want more Burberry. Lisa will be okay. She could probably just put a little, you know, a little sour cream in there. When you're serving it, put a little sour cream, and then she could mix that a bit and, and it'll tone down the flavor. You know what also tastes really good with this, I think, is um, yogurt. 
having a little dish of yogurt on the side, kind of got that Mediterranean feel like uh, the Moroccans do, you know, with a nice little dish of yogurt on the side. Um, otherwise, let's just let this thing flavor up, flavor up. Okay, I'm going to now just put it on not quite low, low to medium low, and I'm just gonna let that simmer, okay? And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to maybe check in five minutes, every five minutes and I'll uh, see how it's doing. I add a little more boiling water if I need to. Um, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks at the end. And le unless you just want me to leave the camera running and you could just watch them cook down. I could leave the lid off if you want. No, nah, you probably don't want to do that. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Okay, Val, time to check in on these lentils. It's been about six or seven minutes. Give them a good stir. Whoops, show the camera. Give me a good stir here. Still lots of liquid coming out. Look that tomatoes are releasing liquid. I'm gonna leave it there and not. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there and not add water yet. Okay. Unlike rice, you can open the top on this. I didn't rinse the lentils because they're pretty clean. You could rinse the lentils if you want, by the way. Okay, we'll check back another five minutes. Okay, let's have a check here again. It's been a few minutes. Oh, it's starting to really thicken up now. Okay, starting to really thicken up. Yeah, and if I let these sit, they will thicken up even more. And it depends. If I put more water, they'll just go really mushy, even more than they are. And I don't know if I want them super mushy. I'm going to give it just a little taste test and see what we can do. Okay, try to swing the camera around, show myself. Mmm. Mmm, it's got a nice texture. Kind of like it, just like that. Now, we had some spinach laying around. And I don't least like spinach. It melts down nice, so you know what? Why not throw that in there? Why not throw that in there? Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is down lower. And I'm gonna call that done. I'll get a shot of, you know, Lisa enjoying them in just a moment. It's time to bring this together. It's got a nice thickness to it. Just a doll on the plate like that. you. It's probably enough to start with. And we'll take it to the table and see how it works. And uh, Lisa, I have for you some lentil stew with a side salad and some coconut mango bassa. Uh, enjoy. Mm. Tell us what you think of that lentil stew. Très délicieux. Oh, it's some kind of French word. I think that means good. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs>